Good morning, my friends. Welcome for Coffee with Simple Gospel. Welcome to the place where we learn and we talk and we walk. We listen, whatever is needed to be heard. We become family and I appreciate your input and support. As you're watching those videos, I wish that you would uh, uh, watch them to the end because that's what helps the algorithm and help me to encourage keep going. Anyway, wise people are rewarded. Wise people are rewarded. That's the theme which I want to talk about today. So in Proverbs 14, 24 says, wise people are rewarded. So we need to keep learning. In this moment of my life, I actually find a new things to learn from and discover, even though I have, in a sense, uh, pretty old uh, in calendar ways, young in truth. You see this? It's called Oculus. It's for virtual reality. I discover most exciting new things happening in the world. I discover the metaverse is something which can be used for the glory of God. The metaverse can be uh, uh, as a tool spread the good news. So what do I need to do in this incredible world? You know, the knowledge in most major fields is exploding. And if you don't stay up to date, you will be left behind. You know, Einstein's definition of insanity or uh, not doing the right thing is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. That's silly. That's something with unlearned people. Repeating the same lessons over and over means you are not learning enough. Study those who have succeeded where you want to succeed in order to know what to do and what not to do. I'm going through Google, I'm going through everywhere to see what is happening about this metaverse. You have to learn from the mistakes of others. You won't live long enough to make them all yourselves, no mistakes. You had so many, you can't make them for yourself. So let's go. Number one, respect those with experience and ex expertise greater than your own. You know, instead of shrinking away from them, reach, reach for them. The Bible says in 1 Peter 4.10, God has given each of you some special abilities. Use them to help each other. We all struggle in certain areas. Be careful lest your insecurity be misinterpreted as arrogance. Point number two, become a good listener. Don't try to impress people by seeking to be their intellectual equal. It is just not wise. If you find yourself in a discussion that intimidates you, ask questions. Be humble. Talk only about what you know. Listen attentively. And uh, the next time you meet, you will be that much further ahead. Point number three, the more you prepare yourself, the more opportunities you will get. Don't go to a lesson unless you have done your homework. When God starts taking you higher, prepare your speech, prepare your, your theme, your wardrobe and your mind. Consult a trusted friend who understands where you are and where you need to go. If you can't find one, read up until you grasp the basics. You know, Proverbs 14.35 says this, A king rejoices in servants who know what they are doing. Learning helps you to be secure in your footsteps of your life. The more prepared you are, the more God will open the doors of opportunity for you. I will finish here. But guys, please, if you like what you see, smash the subscribe button, and then smash that bell, and smash as well the thumb up in help to grow this channel. And don't forget to write some comments because it's so important to know where you stand, what do you think? Uh, can I do something more? 
or different to help you, help me to see and go ahead with these videos. Guys, there is a something which is called salvation prayer. Before we go, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, could you pray with me simple prayer of faith to invite Jesus into your life? Would you? Then let's pray. Just repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins, past, present, and future, and ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. With my mouth I confess and in my heart I believe that you have died on the cross for my sins and after three days you rose again and set my life free to inherit eternal life with you. Thank you Lord for saving me and for answering my prayers. Guys, if you pray this prayer first time in your life, welcome to the kingdom of God. Welcome to this exciting and yet very complex and yet very warm arms of living word, the arms of living God. I welcome you and I hope to see you in next video, which is coming soon again. I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers. Bye.